called the scene. Elska is not a word I expect you to know, but to someone in Iceland it is love, which is also nothing I expect you to know, but means etymologically there is steam under the earth which may gush from its fissures any time of day or night, but often when no one is watching, not even the stars caring either, their white light glowing within a loneliness no one even knows to feel sad about. Or maybe we would be floating there like John White searching for his daughter in our fragile bark just off the coast. And for the first time in a century, we would see the earth cracking its seam just a bit, and the steam would seem like the earth sighing, and the waves lapping over the gunnels would feel less cold than they really are. And the mist, like a tongue, like a palm, like an aureole, like nothing like nothing after you've died would rain. Oh, I know I go on too much, all gathered into the crowd so that we might sink, but I want us to watch and imagine in our human way that the light is for us when I know it is not, though at least I am for you. Do you forgive me my fecklessness, this indolence of too much and too many? Inside, something touches my tongue that might be a cloud, or might also be just a stone. Always, this pressure under the earth must explode. This is the cloud number one. City of never-ending gates, city of evidence collected in barrels, DNA, a hundred-year storm left, waterlogged, along Kingsland Avenue and Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Muck, City of Sutton Who, of golden breastplates, punk teeth, false hair. City of candied orange slices and sushi that preserve that raw, that saturated color. Inside the steam-mouthed kitchen. City of birth documents floating down to Jersey. City of preserved women hanging from fat rafters like antique brooms. City of preserved men shut inside glass cases on soft black sheets, city of gods, city of devils, city of can't tell the difference. Uh, two. In this one, there's two references, one to something called the Arecibo message, which was a uh, message devised in part by Carl Sagan to be sent up into space in which any extraterrestrials out there would be provided information such as the DNA of, of human beings. Um, there was a response to this message at one point that was received uh, once, um, and you'll hear a reference to that here, and it became known as the WOW message, because the scientists who received it circled it and wrote WOW next to it, um, and it was never heard from again. <laughs> well, there were people not on any maps, but in cities on the maps. In statisticians' shop drawers, shedding citizens' data onto square tiled floors, and in the servers' ever spooling numbers. Circumnavigating solar systems, since numbers were light in seemingly infinite space. And on Tuesday at 5 p.m., the Milky Way is finite, while at 5.01 there is more, encore du, encore du, in bodega storage closets and police precinct bathrooms where there loom broomstick endings, fractions, systolic, diastolic, in private club parlors where countries meet histories written under invaders' thumbs, and numbers men gobble tables where eyes are multipliers, cities, fissures, visions, fractures. The ethics of loving are complex, if we can call this loving at all. The 4.05 p.m. from Newark arrives at Penn, not at all, but solidly within dream, nightmare, and imagined futures arriving softly across bridges, leering brightly in breezeway corners and last century elevators. Crossing each stories, horizontal steel demarking each light pierced foregone lifeline, water line, food line, power line, line up, line of, of defense, graph paper, the Arecibo message, 
double helical human, the extraterrestrial signal, 6E, QU, J5, forward and backward, wow. Um, like I said, these um, alternate back and forth actually between these cloud poems and counterpane poems. Um, I was stuck on that word because it's a title of a chapter in Moby Dick in which um, Ishmael and Queequeg wake up in the morning loving, you know, spooning and loving each other under the counterpane, which is the quilt. And the quilt, the different patterns of the quilt blend into Queequeg's tattoos. Ishmael wakes up and he can't tell the difference between Queequeg's arm around him and the uh, quilt patterns that he sees. It's called the counterpane. The pattern is here. The shop is mine. Hours past. Hand along nape of neckline. Fabric which choosing chooses me. Tools. Scissor. Machine. Spool. Blade and rule. What happened last night along the roadway home? What happened last star-splintered year manning the checkpoint? Or in that secret tree split open in the garden? Pattern is here, that pattern I wasn't meant to have. Stitches organizing sky. Constellations pointing toward futures I didn't know was there. Plural. P equals slow loves, perambulations of dresses around the garden, market flowers patterning through the day. Do you have this? Is there one of these? What I go finding is never what I leave having found. You. Dear shopkeeper, stalker, stalker, and prophet, I came today imagining just where I was going, and you suggested it new ideas. Um, the next one is a cloud poem. There's a couple of references here. One is to Talafar, Iraq, which is a city in Iraq, um, in which was taken one of the um, one of the photos of the early Iraq war that you probably recognize. It was of a small girl named Samar Hassan. And you see her on the ground, uh, crouching, spattered with blood for the American soldiers around just the spotlight right on, on her. And uh, this introduces her into the poems as well. Cloud. Talifar, Iraq. City of blood stars patterning soldiers' boots. Splintered windshield wheeling about lieutenant's head. Firing the warning shots. Flashing the hand signal. Signaling stop. The Arecibo message, humans cringing in the statistician's office corner, Samar Hassan officially unrecorded. All these blossoming terrors, and racked arms too, sequestered, buried, held inside chests, inside eyes, mouths, groins, and fingers sliding inside you, kisses on lips long having given up forgetting love. Samar, beauty, exploding city, sweet refugee, these are our bodies, wet and terrible, teeth marks and flanks, fecund and monstrous, rebar pierced through the neck, dear, you drag under the bush, devoured, meat which no one loves, no one forgives, <coughs> everyone forgives, desire, you, lover, you, city, Absent your why, devoured behind a tree in a garden shattered with light, a tree that will outlast us, man, who has no analog, silly, really he has been in charge for so long. 